Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Soul Killer here. Hopefully for once I actually got the intro right. So, pretty soon I'll be switching over to my new internet, but, and by pretty soon I mean tonight. So, this is not the only stream for today. Believe it or not, I will be streaming again probably around 8 or 9 o'clock. I'll be saying this throughout the stream, so if you're watching this on YouTube, blah blah blah, you guys know what you're doing. Anyways, so I was trying to stream with OBS earlier, and I have no idea how to use it. And, like, I streamed for, like, five seconds, and over half the frames were dropped. It was really, really bad, really messy, really sloppy. Not the kind of work that I want to do. So, I'm going to be streaming with XSplit. Even though it puts up that little symbol that says XSplit, I don't know if it shows up. Does it actually show up when I'm... Huh, that's weird. It doesn't show up anymore. I guess they took that away because people got real mad. Anyways, I'm going to play Minecraft for a while, and then we're going to switch over to Dark Souls for a while. Then I am going to go offline, and we will be back later on this evening. And I don't know what I'll be playing later this evening, if you want me to be completely honest. I have no idea. I'll just play something. Do we have jump assist at max? We do. Alright. So we need to reduce the weight of this a little bit. What is a good way to reduce some of the weight? Because right now we can't jump as high as I want. We can cut the battery size back. All right, we'll go till we're at like 550 or 5.5 kgs. 5.5. There we go. So that's that's kind of gonna be able to let us move a little bit faster and jump a little bit higher, go a little bit further. So I'm obviously actually using the super suit right now which seems like it could be a very bad idea but the reason I'm using it is because it's a bad idea it's as simple as that I just want to get the ender pearls because if we get four more we're set we'll actually have the first piece of armor and it will be so strong that you know we'll have a fairly good amount of defense unless we get killed by a creeper within the first five seconds of using it in that case we just die and we have to respawn and it's a mess but I'll make it daytime and we'll go back obviously not gonna be using this armor since we are in hard mode I want to see if perhaps we could survive using it but clearly that's not the case so we are gonna have to wear actual armor while we go intermittent hunting probably just gonna be solid iron just cuz it's cheap and easy to maintain while we actually get the gear together that we really do need Okay, that hectate's not aggressive during the day, apparently. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. Well, it's dead now, so I guess it really doesn't matter how aggressive it is. Uh, where's all of our stuff? Oh, I guess this is everything. Because here's, yeah, the full suit, and then... Okay, we didn't lose anything. I thought we lost some stuff, but we didn't. Now, this suit does have uh, night vision constantly on, so I am going to have to link... See, all this is different things that you can link to take better control of it. That's the night vision module. We're going to make that our in key. So now whenever we hit in, our night vision will turn off. It'll also apparently bring up our map. So that's going to become a problem. I need to switch the uh, key for the map real quick then to M. Let's do that real quick. Get that out of the way. That way we can actually not have to worry about that. Where is N? M. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. So now our night vision's off, so we won't be just wasting power. Uh, I pretty much figured out that the best way for us to charge this suit is by just using it, because it actually generates more electricity than it uses. Not by a huge degree, but enough to make it a smart decision. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this gear. I might as well take the gold with me until it breaks take all this off because right now it's just not strong enough the benefits of wearing it are really huge but it doesn't matter if we die every five seconds with it on plus that leads to the opportunity to lose it and I really don't want to lose it so pretty much what we need to do is wait for nighttime and then hunt down Enderman like once we get enough ender pearls everything's fine and we won't have many worries anymore we can focus more on the kind of you know other objects that we can work like building a nuclear reactor, increasing our health containers and things like that. And that's the stuff I want to get to do. I actually am really interested in doing stuff like that. So hopefully we can make that a thing. 
if we're lucky by the end of this episode, actually. I mean, I've got time to stream today as far as I know. I don't have anything else going on. So, I might be streaming for quite a while. I might be streaming for just a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put up all the ores in our ore chest. One thing that I definitely need to work on that I've been completely just, like, pushing to the side and, like, oh, we'll do it later, we'll do it later. Uh, the actual house. I definitely need to make this place more safe. So, let's go... Actually, I need food and torches. Because we're just going to travel out and see if we can get some easy iron and stuff like that. Because we are going to still be using a lot of iron. Iron seems to be a pretty important resource in this. I mean, obviously, it is in regular Minecraft as well. Because iron is your first metal. But it's, it's over-accentuated here by, you know, uh, circuits and things like that. Which we do have quite a... We do have iron here, which I is more than I thought we actually had available. Plus, we have all the iron in the thing. You know, honestly, I think we don't need that much iron. Let me go check and see how much we have down inside the smeltery. Because depending on how much is in the smeltery, we might be working on something a little bit different today. And that will be really fun, getting to work on something different for once. Let's check. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. All right. Well, I'm not concerned about our amount of iron anymore I'm really not too fussed about the amount of copper that we have so we got the metal the copper what else do we need we need lots more rubber I guess and uh, mostly we just need to start actually building things it seems we also need ender pearls but like we need ender pearls for a lot of different things it's not just the armor although that is the main concern at the moment so let's go ahead and get some rubber for circuits for that I'm just gonna take the uh, pants with me that way I can run super fast and actually get to the trees quicker. I should, probably should have brought some uh, bone meal with me. That would have made a lot of sense. But this is just so we can get all these trees chopped a little bit quicker. Because at the normal walking speed, I mean, it's fine, but it's not optimal. And I want to optimize right now. I'm getting to the point where optimization is something that I can actually afford to do. Because I am a very optimized player in Minecraft when I can be. It's just that we haven't really had the chance for me to be that kind of person yet. Because trust me, I'm the kind of guy that like, I will build a giant minecart system if it saves me a few extra you know, moments of my time just moving around the world. Perhaps we can go out somewhere and like rig up a, ooh, that would be good. So, for those of you who don't know much about how Minecraft villages work... If you have a large enough village and you build enough homes for villagers, villagers can actually, I believe, start to reproduce on their own. I'm not sure if that's in this mod pack. I'll have to look just to make sure. But villagers can start reproducing on their own. What this means is that if you get a big enough village, you can actually create a small city. Perhaps something we could do is start working on getting a city started. A natural P NPC city. Also, there's a piece of wood stuck in this tree, apparently. Um, the point of getting an NPC city would be so we have easier trade with them and then set up a rail system to make it to them faster because although this armor is going to be once it's finished faster than regular movement it won't match up to the speed of a minecart because of the weight restriction right now we beat a minecart but once I have all the other armor it weighs a lot more and your weight actually comes into the ability to jump and the amount of speed you have and there's no way that I can fully compensate for the amount of weight that we're going to be adding. That's just not something you can even do. Alright, sorry, I was, uh, somebody had sent me a message on my phone. And I needed to respond because I find it really rude when people don't do that. The only times I won't respond is if I'm asleep usually. But, you know, obviously I am at my quote-unquote job, so I do just leave like a quick message saying, hey, I'm streaming right now, can't talk, bye. But it's still better than not answering, in my opinion. Because at least, you know, I didn't leave you like wondering why I didn't talk to you and you don't like assume I'm dead or something. So let's get all these planted. 
Sanic, we gotta roll around at the speed of sound. We have places to go. We gotta follow our rainbow. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this started on the extractor, and we'll get this started on the furnace. So we'll have plenty of rubber if we need to make more circuits. That's what that's all for. Um, what else do we need to go do? Rubber. Uh, I guess what we could do is we could start a farm, like an actual, like, legitimate farm that would be really optimized and really good. But what I, for that, what I would need to do is, hmm. I'm trying to think of different things that we could do right now. Because I've got a couple ideas swimming around in my brain. But I don't know which ones to release into the wild yet. Well, first, let's let's start off with the easy assumptions. Let's just, uh... Hmm. What are things that we need to do? We need to get more power. That's, that's a actual concern. In fact, what does an MFE take? We'll just look. MFE. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, never mind. We're not going to be working on MFE yet. Those are way out of my weight class. That's like 16 diamonds right now. So. I guess we could go diamond mining for a moment. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll jump through this portal that takes us down deep into like the earth. Actually, let's take the helmet with us too so we can see. Let's go ahead. Because this helmet actually has night vision already on it, so what we can do is we can take this down into the caves, and this will let us see better. Well, it'll let us see, actually, just boom. Let there be light. Alright. And now, since we're already here, since we're pretty low down... Oh, shit. We're going to start mining and just, you know, explore this area better. Because with how deep down we are, we might be able to find a good amount of diamonds. And there's a quick way out when we need it. The only downside to mining like this is that there's no torches. What is this? Saltpeter. Alright, don't need saltpeter. But the whole goal here, find diamonds. Or uranium. I can take uranium, but we need quite a bit of uranium to get a reactor running. In fact, let's just look. Let's just look and see what we need for a reactor, because I wouldn't mind getting a reactor going as well. I've never worked with them before, so obviously it would be scary, but... Yeah. Look at that number. Per tick, it produces 8,196 energy. To make that, though, we need reactor chambers, which requires lead plates. Which just requires some smashed lead ingots. Alright, that's easy. That's actually... Wow. Like, making the reactor... Wow. We could actually make a nuclear generator. Um... Yeah? We could. Honestly, like, the more I'm looking at this... I'm starting to consider building a reactor. Do I think that it's a safe idea? No. Do I think it's even like a good idea? Probably not. But what we could build is a... Let me find it. Matter. Okay. Where is the... Hmm. Do the generators for that stuff not exist anymore? Generate. I don't know what this is. Like all these different pages that are here. It should only be showing me things with the word generator in them. Hmm. Generator, generator, semi-fluid generator. Um, but yeah, we should have been able to produce like antimatter or can we produce anti Huh. That's interesting that there's certain things that just don't exist. I need to figure out what what's kind of like, what could a generator help us with? A nuclear reactor. What are legitimate things that would help? Universal usable amplifier. So UU matter. UU matter would be actually pretty good. I'm not going to even joke. That would be super actually helpful. 
But to create UU Matter, don't you need, what do you need to make it? Like, what's the engine that produces UU Matter? Scrap. Oh, I don't know what it's called. I've made one in the past, and it was powered with a generator, and it actually, or a nuclear reactor, and it actually used a lot of the nuclear reactor's power, like, it was a necessary step to the means. But, I can't find it. We may not be building a reactor right now, but I mean, it's definitely a possibility in the near future. Nearish, I should say. Because I can't find what I'm wanting to find. Because there's some sort of machine that eats up a ton of power. Like, it just, it'll sap all of that energy instantly, pretty much. And it will drink it down happily. Oh no, I don't see it, so let's just move on. We've been scrolling through menus for way too long and it's boring. I don't want any glowstone right now, although it is a very nice offer. In fact, what's our... We are at 7. Why? So yeah, we're definitely deep enough to find diamonds. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're only like... I know we're not that far above bedrock. Yeah, see right there is bedrock. That's not even that far from us. So we'll go ahead and just keep digging. Redstone. We definitely do need more redstone. Redstone is always decent to find. I can use redstone for a lot. Now, we are eating up our electricity slowly, so that's something that I do have to keep an eye on. I don't want to use up all of our electricity and leave us stranded. Well, not stranded, but we'd be left in the dark for a considerable amount of time, and I don't want that to happen. So, let's see. Uh, what is quantum ore used for, Quan? Let's just look. Is there anything that, like, it's particularly useful for? Quantum goggles. Quantum computer. Quantum Link's Chamber, Flux... Huh. I'll have to look into what that is. If it, if it ends up being useful to us, I wouldn't mind using it. I mean, again, nothing against building weird stuff. And it's nighttime. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take these pants off and put on the iron pants that actually give armor. And then we're going to go Enderman hunting. Or actually, we'll take these with us. And then we'll just take them off when we find Enderman. That way we can actually fight the Enderman safely. But until then we're leaving them on. All in the name of safety. And, you know, quickness. And I don't have the boots on. I forgot about that. So I need to be a little bit careful when I jump. Uh... No Enderman up here. We don't need a lot of Enderman, per se. A few would be nice, though. Whoa. That's interesting. I like these weird... What are these weird little, like, pools of, like, land? That's strange. Alright, well, we're not going to find an Enderman in the jungle, so we might as well just leave this biome alone. Or that side of that biome, I guess. And we don't really need cocoa for anything, so. Pretty much no benefit to going in there right now. If anything, it would just obscure it and make it harder to find the Enderman. Come on, there's got to be Enderman around here somewhere. I'm not asking for like, I'm not asking for the world on a silver platter, I'm asking to have the chance to fight an enderman. That's a pretty logical request, I'm asking to fight an enemy on hard mode. Because I cannot find him.
Okay, spider jockey. Let's not mess with that either. Don't need it. It's got it's got more health than it's worth killing, honestly. Plus, they don't give anything special. Still no Enderman. We super fast movement is lagging my computer because it has to generate new terrain constantly as I do this. Uh, I don't know how to bring up my small map anymore, so that's that's a bit of a concern. But it'll be okay. Every little thing is going to be all right. I wouldn't mind finding a berry bush right now because we could we could use a, like small bits of food. Or if I had some, uh... oh shit! How did that not hurt? I don't know how that didn't hurt me, but it didn't, and I'm not complaining. So let's go ahead and search around. I mean, it's still night, so that's not the problem. It's just the Endermen don't spawn. Like I am on hard, right? Yeah, so you would think, since Endermen are like the worst enemies you can fight really, because they're super healthy, do decent damage, everything that is scary in the Minecraft world, they have it going for them. You'd think that like, they would be the threat of the century, but no, they're not, and that's, it's annoying. Uh, I thought that was a plant that we could pick and actually take with us, like some berries, I wouldn't mind some berries, some berries. Sorry, back in mushroom reference. Just gonna r run around this town while the cops chase me around. Okay, shit. Now I'd be impressed if somebody got the reference I just made there. Oh, and it's dayish time. Well, dayish time. I guess it'd be called morning. That's what logical people would call it, morning. But I'm not a logical person. I am actually that cactus. That's me. Why am I on fire? Oh crap, we're over the heat limit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, wow. Alright, let's cool off real fast. We actually hit the heat limit of the armor, so we started to burn. That's scary. Alright. We've cooled off. God, I, I didn't know I was on fire. I totally forgot that without the other components to this, we don't have enough heat sink to actually keep us like in a sustained running position. So where's this thing that I got rid of and sh changed to M? Open map GUI. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Because I am an intelligent human being. Alright, well, we don't need night vision right now because we're just running. But yeah, this will this will give us back some power because we have kinetic movement. Kinetic movement generator pretty much means, you know, the more you move, the more energy you produce. And since we're moving quite a bit, we'll produce quite a bit of power. In fact, we're almost at the power limit for these pants. Because the helmet itself doesn't actually have power yet, which is funny. I never actually gave a uh, electric core to the helmet yet. So we're going to go and put this up. Take this off. Put this up. And put this on. Actually, since we're going to go right back to mining, we might as well put this on and leave it on. Alright, let's go mining. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Wrong hole. Alright, I don't know why it's spit me out in the middle of like a wall. That's rude of it. Night vision's on and yet night vision's not on. What's going on here? Right, it doesn't have a power source. You're a dipshit. It would help if you actually gave, if you put on a piece of armor that gave electricity. There we go. I didn't remember that. I either had the boots on or the pants on so that I have power.
Alright, I think at one heart you regenerate, don't you? I guess not. Darn. Oh yeah, you do. It's just not very quickly. And by the way, now that we actually have this, uh, torches are sort of a thing of the past until we, at least until we get it, the actual, like, four steel generators up and running. Once we have the four steel generators up and running, we will no longer need torches at all. The world is our oyster. Essentially. Then from there, it's going to hell and actually trying to get materials. But by then, if as long as we have enough electricity, we'll be able to pretty much swim in lava. So I'm not really too terrified. In fact, I think with the heat sink, you can actually swim in lava longer, but I'm not sure. Because obviously the heat sink will be able to absorb some of the uh, heat from the lava. I mean, that's just being logical, and most of these mods are pretty logical in how they deal with things. So I would consider, you know, being... Being covered in an extremely hot material while having something that sucks in heat energy and makes it into electricity would indeed work that way. But don't quote me because I'm not a science. So we're mining so we can go crafting afterwards. Or at least that's the general objective. So let's see, it was daytime when we left, so we can mine for a little bit longer. And by a little bit, I mean quite a while. Pretty soon, though, we will actually have to turn around and walk back. All this is for diamonds, because we do need diamonds. By my guesstimates, probably around 30. If we get 30 diamonds, that's what we need. That or lapis. If we could get like 7 billion lapis, that'd be really awesome. That would make my life. Ferris ore. If it has had Galacticraft, uh, Ferris ore I think is worth quite a bit in Galacticraft. I hear lava, but we're going to keep going. Sounds to me like we're actually going to pass it. What was that sound? Sounds like water. I think we're near a cave. I'm going to search for it. Lapis! And gold. And lapis. Okay, the water is definitely getting louder. We're right next to some water. I just gotta find it now. The water is clearly near us. I can hear it. Oh, it's so close. Where is it? I want it. Is it above us? Whoa. What the hell? What the hell is this? Whoa. This is different. Well, obviously I'm going to explore and dig around in this area for a little bit. As long as we can find our way home, that's important. That's all that really matters. But gold is good. Lapis is best. Lapis is gooder. Lap lapis is the gooderest material. Like, if I had to rank it, I would go like lapis and then diamonds. Because we can use lapis to make our pick better if we need to. Or we can use lapis to make laptrons to make... Uh, you know, advanced kind of circuitry and thing like that. Advanced circuits, lap crystals, which of course do require diamonds. So I guess diamonds and la lapis are on the same tier. Oh, what the hell? What? 
What the hell? What the hell was that? Those scared the hell out of me. Like, whoa. Whoa. Not cool. But we're going to go back because we need to. Because I want my stuff mostly. This is not much brighter for me than it probably is for you all, so just realize that like this is real dark. No, I'm Dirty Dan. We're not going to know if we're there until we get there, probably. Alright, because this is where I think I heard like lava or water. And then we went up this. Yeah, alright. So far, so good. And then we climbed up here. Screw you! I want my stuff back, damn it! Alright, I'll beat the skeleton to death with my fist. We'll get our stuff back, that's happening. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting my stuff back. nothing because here's my corpse here's my corpse stone we'll get the grave here in just a second and when we do god damn it all right that's fine We'll use these so we can get back there faster. And then we'll take some torches. I didn't want to use torches, but uh, it seems as though my hand is being forced a little bit. Let's go. Damn it. Alright. Is this the right way? No. Damn it. Is this the right? Damn it. Yeah, here we go. Wait, I don't know. No, it was this hole. Yep. And here we are. I did a good job of blocking myself out of the area I need to get to. And then we need to destroy this block right here, and then we'll be able to jump out over into the stuff. Then we'll have to break the grave marker. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through at all. Oh my god. I didn't think anything through because I am a silly man. I didn't think it through. I was just like, you know, all we gotta do is get back to my stuff. I didn't think to bring this pick with me. But that's what we're doing this time. We're gonna take that pick with us and we're just gonna go straight for the stuff. Is it this direction? Yes, it is. All right, let's go. So remember, gravestones break quicker when you use a tool on them. So if we can just use this tool to get our gravestone back, we're going to get all of our items back. Then once we have all of our items back, we'll be able to run out of there and forget that this place exists. For a minute. Just for a minute, though. We'll probably need to go get food or something for safety reasons. 
But if we can stay, we are going to stay and actually try to get our stuff back. Or not our stuff back. But buy new stuff. Maybe get some diamonds out of it. Kind of explore and actually be ready for those tainted spiders. I wasn't ready for them and that's what killed me. Also, those explosions scare the shit out of me. They make me think that my stuff's going to be gone. Oh! Skeleton Orgy. Awesome. Okay. First things first. Vision. Next. Food. Tainted goo. I don't know what that is. Alright. Now. Uh. Armor. Alright. Now, now we can see. We need to find a way to clear up some of that taint. That's a problem. Alright, but we got our stuff back, and that's that's the most important thing here. But let's go ahead and put on the super pants as well, just while we have them, because why not? Safety. Honestly, I feel safer with these on than I do without them. And there is something that we need. Some gold. Alright, let's go ahead... We'll search a little bit more. Is that diamond? No, that's silver. I thought it might have been diamonds. Oh, this is redstone. No diamond. Oh, lapis. Almost missed this. Almost missed this lapis here. That wouldn't have been good. So we almost got a full stack of lapis, which is pretty good. I keep getting tainted over and over because I'm obviously, you know, tainted zone, but Oh, that was so cool that I just did that. I feel like I feel like a PIMP because I don't know what you heard about me. <sighs> That's not diamond, not diamond. This taint is really nasty stuff. We need to, or I need to, get out of here. You can stay if you guys want. Like, yeah. If chat wants to stay, they can stay. But I'm, I'm not one to want to stay. Okay. Die. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to kill you. No, I didn't. I didn't say this was all right. All right, so we got two spawners right next to each other. Okay, one down. We're gonna take the taint. The, we're gonna take this mossy cobblestone with us. We need this. This will give us uh, more moss, mossy pieces kill this whoa a double chest um, knowledge fragment I don't know what this is but I'm gonna take it over stone give it all this potato gun awesome mini red heart is this the same disc yeah okay we don't need two of the same disc we'll take this disc 10 I don't know what this name tag is but we're taking it you know, we're also taking the underground biome all right, I think that's all we're gonna need. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're a stencil from Open Blocks. I don't know what you do, so you're gonna get to stay. And we're not collecting the mossy cobble because we have too much stuff. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we don't need this, so we don't need this, because we're gonna be taking all of this. Yeah, this much moss, 
This will give us enough to get like a, a hammer with moss, a pick with moss, and maybe a sword with moss. Which would be really good. Once, of course, you know, we're set up further. Because if anything, I would like to give it to Manilium reinforced with uh, Emerald. A Manilium Emerald lasts like a really long time, and then the rest of the points just go to haste and luck. I think for the hammer it would have haste, but then for the actual pick it would have luck because obviously for single blocks it would make more sense to use the uh, pickaxe. All this moss is going to be beautiful. Oh, yep, see, one full one full inventory worth. Let's throw that out. Make sure we collect all the mossy. Alright. Why is it not collecting it? I gave space. Just run around, make sure we got it all. Alright. I think that's most all of it. Oh, no, there's a little bit more here. Awesome. We are good. We'll check up here for anything particularly useful. Obviously, we can drop something for diamonds, but odds of us finding diamonds are slim. Also, I like being able to explore with the high jumps. Oh, a tunnel. I don't want to die, so I gotta be careful. But I'd like to hit this tunnel real fast and see if there's anything good in it. There's usually lapis in these tunnels. You can usually find lapis in them. Sometimes diamonds, other various minerals it also has wood which is like super valuable underground because it allows you to build a uh, crafting table if you need to which is something normally you can't do underground unless you you know brought wood with you which I don't know a lot of people who take wood with them when they go mining to be honest oh what the hell is that? I'll take it. I don't know what the tin cans are, so I'm probably just going to leave those. But that orb looks like it's rare. Even the name implies rarity. It might also imply Rainbow Dash? No. Uh... Uranium, always good. There are some materials that like we that are an indefinite good material as far as I know. Like uranium because it's used so quickly once it's finally starting to be used is actually pretty valuable. Especially since you don't find a lot of it. Like you find it in like one pocket of thing. Uh, I thought that might have been emeralds. Emeralds are still good too. I really want some more emerald. Okay, I thought that cobblestone might have actually been something else that I had mined and thought I got, but I didn't. We're not going to pick up that gold just because I don't know if that will follow me into lava, and I don't want to fall into lava. 
So let's call, let's try to get out of here. Alright, nine times out of ten, I would want to kill this Enderman. This is that one time out of ten where killing the Enderman would be suicide? But would it, though? That's the question. Could we kill this Enderman? Yeah, let's try it. This is a really bad decision. If you're ever in the same situation I am right now in Minecraft, don't do this. Also, we're going to drop a portal for safety. And Minecraft crashed! Minecraft just shut down. So that's cool. Also, hello, Schlothish. Nice to see you. Oh, let's go ahead and reopen Minecraft. It just randomly shut down on me. Not cool. Which means probably those Endermen aren't going to be there anymore. Oh, fucking Minecraft crashes. Alright, there we go. Now we just gotta wait for it to reload. <sighs> Man. Fuck, I'm tired, and I don't know why. I shouldn't be. I got plenty of sleep. Alright! Minecraft loaded, finally. Do I like meatloaf? Do you mean meatloaf the band or meatloaf the food? The food, not the music artist. Wow, you answered before you actually heard me ask that same question. Um, yeah, meatloaf's alright. Game is, like, lagging a little bit. All right, let's do this. I dropped an inner pearl. Holy crap! All right, um, we don't need barley seeds. Are there any more inner pearls down there? I can't see. I don't think there are though. Let's go ahead and place a torch. No, but it did give us one one pearl, which is what we need. That's gonna hurt. Nope, it didn't. Alright. So we got one under pearl, really clean. We actually got one really clean. If we can find that other Enderman, we might be able to get two and make this a really successful trip. Oh, shh, go away. I'm not friends. We're not friends. We're not friends. I, I don't want to marry you. Okay. Well, that worked. We lived. Everything torqued out in the end. Oh god. No. No. F off. I don't want her. You can have her. She's too fat for me. Alright, let's go and put the helmet on that lets us have night vision. Because the world is scary without night vision and I'm afraid that I'm gonna die a horrible and painful death but yes I yeah I do actually like meatloaf I think it's a very delicious food so now that we have a second portal gun what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use it to navigate this area a lot quicker which means that like we're gonna get really unsafe with what we're doing just saying this is a terrible decision Again, don't copy my Minecraft strategies. They're really, really bad to practice. Although that was smooth as shit. Okay, again, don't do what I'm doing. That should have killed me. 
That should have killed me. I need to be on that show. I shouldn't be alive. That was total BS and I should have died. Alright, let's try our luck and we can get uh, the first piece of the gear actually started. Alright, let's let our health heal. As long as Enderman doesn't move, we're going to kill him. And hopefully he drops a pearl. If he drops a pearl, we have one piece of the armor ready to go for actual combat. Can you feel the hype deep down inside of your balls? And if you're a woman, well, deep in your ovaries? Where'd he go? Come on! You scared? Just like President Kennedy said, I'm a jelly-filled donut. Oh, I guess he actually was scared. Like, ran off. Well, that's mildly disappointing. I wanted to slay him with the ultimate Ender weapon. Because it's definitely the best weapon you can make to kill Enderman. Here's a good spot. All right. Uh, where were where are we where we dropped that first pole? There it is. See, this is an interesting way to get out of places. I like it. Okay. And those vines probably lead me to the surface, if I'm if I'm a decent guesser at these kinds of things. Damn it! I don't want to come back down the cave. I want to go up. You know what? Why am I even screwing around? I can just hyper jump. See ya. Oh, this doesn't lead out into the world. All right. And we're good. So we're just going to get out of- OH GOD NO! Okay. I really cannot die right now. I cannot afford this death. It would be actually disastrous if we died. Obviously because we have this gear on us and we have a new portal gun. Portal gun's obviously a very valuable resource considering what you need to make one in the first place. Alright. And we're out. We've escaped into the fresh air. As to where in the fresh air we are, that's an excellent question. I will answer it as soon as I know. Do we have the boots on? Yeah, we have boots on. Alright, so we can... Alright, fast travel mode online. Fast travel, not caring. Not give it a fuck! Nice wood pick. What? I'm not using wood. Yeah, this isn't wood, this is manilium. Whoa, okay, we overheated, we overheated, water, 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 water. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I need to actually... Okay, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh, sweet baby Jesus, oh my god, I really need to pay better attention to the heat of our gear. Okay, holy balls. <laughs> I can't believe I let the gear overheat. Ooh, man. That was bad. But, 
We made it home! We made it home with two ender pearls in tow as well. Alright, so the mossy cobblestone. We got that. That's a huge step up for us. Uh, that infinity orb is going to go in here because I have no idea what it does, but I can tell that it's important. I just know these kinds of things. Trust me. As for the name tag, I don't know what it does, but I like it. Uh, we got another zombie head to put on the wall. That seems to be the general consensus by a lot of my subs, is that none of them have messed around with Feed the Beast before, even though Feed the Beast is super fun. Actually, you know what? Well, no, we can't go Ender Hunting in that gear. But what we can do is this. Ding, ding. Put this up. Or no, keep this on us. We want to keep this on us. Keep all this. Let's put up the ore. No, we don't need cactuses in there. Cactuses don't go in there. Stop being silly, cactus. That's not your home. Your home is over here, Mr. Cactus. Shards of knowledge. I don't know what those do. We need to get these pages out of here and put somewhere else. I forgot how to put the pages up, actually, which is really bad. But we'll put all of these over here. This over here. And now we have a fast track back to that mine that we were in. Now let's go hunt Enderman. Do we have our Enderman killing weapon? Yeah. And now since we're actually eating up the pow- Oh god, I forgot. Wearing the full suit makes us super fat. I forgot how fat we are when we have our full suit on. And that we can't really jump as far. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. We're going to be best friends in a moment. I just got to clear out all the riffraff. Alright, now that all the extra crap is dead, would you like to play a game? I'm gonna ram a sword so far up your ass. Okay, you're gonna kill me. You're actually gonna win this fight. No. No. No! Damn it. Hmm. We need some of these. We need these region potions. Gas tears, huh? Glowstone or redstone? I see. Alright. Did you see the name tag? Yeah, I remember what you said about the name tag. I don't have any animals to name with it yet, though. Alright, so let's go back and grab our stuff. We'll grab our stuff and try to fight that enemy if we can. If we can. Then what we need to do, let's see. I don't know. Pipe we need to get a potion stand made so we can make potions of regeneration for when we go on these enderman hunts. Because obviously they do a ton of damage and we don't have the armor to fight them yet because we haven't killed it's this it's the law where it's like I don't exercise because I'm fat I'm fat because I don't exercise it's that argument that, that's the argument that we're stuck with right now is that we don't we can't kill the Enderman because we don't have ender pearls we can't get ender pearls because we can't kill Enderman it is a never-ending loop and it blows Get a majestic horse. Why would I get a horse? I can outrun a horse with my feet. I am faster than a horse could ever be. Now, if it was a ponyta, I would go for a ponyta. Just because, you know, ponyta. And not Epona. Fuck Epona. That was a bitch. 
That's right. Get at me, Twitch chat. I called Epina a bitch. Rejoice in comment section below on YouTube. So, yeah. Not fighting any more Enderman, and that's frustrating. I'd rather be in the cave than getting shot by that guy. Alright. Let's go through here. There we go. We're out of that hole. Let's go ahead and eat this. Come on, I just need like one Enderman or one Ender Pearl. One Ender Pearl. Give me, give me just one, just one. Please, just one. Damn you, Minecraft. I think you can hear my bionic legs like wind up when I jump. I like that sound. That and the sound of like the gears cranking when I land when I'm supposed to hurt myself. It's nice to know that my machines are working. I am the T-1000. Except I have no health whatsoever so if anything hits me I die. one enderman come on I know that he'll drop a pearl because I have the sword with looting on it but I need an enderman for him to drop the ender pearl oh come on I, I that's it I'm not getting off of minecraft today until I get the last ender pearl and actually get the first piece of the armor finished. Until I get the last pearl, I'm not getting off of Minecraft. Stream is carried on indefinitely until we get this last pearl. Alright. We might even go kill some pigs with the uh, broadsword as well. That way we can get some uh, extra meat. So let's go ahead, grab our stuff that we made earlier. Do we not have... Okay, there's the rubber. So we have 80 rubber extra, plus whatever we had left. So that's quite a bit for circuit making when we need circuits. Plus we already got a lot of iron and things like that. We're pretty much set with those materials. Um, Let's take this back down with us. Because now I'm getting ready to go back down into the ground pretty much. I'll take this with me actually. This is a better shovel than my old one anyways. Now it's just working out what materials we take back down with us into the cave. We don't need these. We don't need this either. Let's just go throw these out real fast. I do not have money for rust. Therefore I cannot play rust. I looked at it and it doesn't seem all that interesting to me by the way. Uh, doesn't mean it's out of the question, but I just don't have the money for it. And if I did, I don't think Rust would be the number one game I would want to buy with it anyways. Granted, there are worse things that I think I could spend my money on that game as well, though. Uh, we don't need the Water Essence. We can throw that out. We got a fair bit of gunpowder, which is nice. We might have to do some stuff with some gunpowder soon. That could be real fun. Alright. Let's go back into the cave. Go searching for Enderman down there. And, of course, materials. Anytime we need to leave, we can always just place the uh, green portal and head out. Obviously, I have combat armor and I have traveling armor. Right now, we're just going to wear the full traveling armor because why not? We don't need anything stronger at the moment because right now this armor really is just for better movement
That's his main service to me right now. Okay, let's not get shot while we're near lava. That's something that I will avoid. Yeah, you're right. I do have armor, but no majestic horses to fill it. That is actually true. That armor's probably never going to be worn. Ever. I just don't need horses. Plus, horses are hard to find in the first place. And I only have one carrot, so I'd have to like start a carrot farm, and then use the carrots that I farm to find horses, then finding horses, taming horses, putting the armor on the horse, and then riding the horse that's slower than I could walk anyways. It just seems like a lot of effort for no real benefit. But who knows, maybe way later, I'll do it just because, lol, I have a horse. You could look at my horse and it would be amazing. It would taste just like raisins. You should tug on its winky. But that's dirty. So. Ooh, that's dirty. I love Weevil, by the way. Just saying. If you guys know who Weevil is, he is an amazing person. And I love him. Forever. And Weevil, if you find my videos, one, promote the shit out of my channel. Two, I love you. Marry me. Marriage me, Weevil. Marriage. You're a funny guy. Uh. Yeah. This is fun. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to drop a torch there. Oh! Okay. I almost ran really hard, and that would have ran me straight into that lava. I don't want to die in lava. That's one of the last things that I want to do, actually. I can I make a top 10 list of things that I don't want to happen to me? Dying in lava is one of them. The lava. Man, this sucks. There were so many Endermen down here earlier. What happened to those guys? Huh? Where'd they all go off to? Okay. Where's the Enderman? I just need like one. One Enderman would make me so happy right now. You don't even know. Come on game. Don't do this to me. I thought we were friends Minecraft. You know, you provide me with a beautiful world and I destroy it. It's a great relationship. And you're, you're messing with that formula. You're not giving me the means in which to destroy you. But I am getting a ton of uranium. Like I said, a nuclear reactor might be happening soon. That's going to be cool as fun. That's going to be cool as fun. Damn straight. You heard me, girl. Ah, Enderman. Oh, where, oh, where have the Endermen gone? I do this every time. But seriously, I just want to kill some freaking Endermen. The Endermans. They have so many pearls, and I just I just want to borrow a few. But they never give them up willingly, so I have to, you know, bash their skulls in with a sword. I feel a little bad when I kill them, because they cry when I kill them, like, Rrr! But then I realize something. They're assholes. And I don't feel so bad. More gold. Gold is gold's another resource that we could use more of. Because once we start getting into higher level pipes and uh, wires and things like that. And setting up like automated assembly of items. We're going to need them. Alright. That opened my eyes to tell me that I need to eat real fast. Get healed up. more pearl or more uh, gold. I don't know why I said pearls. I guess all I'm thinking about right now is ender pearls. Like, that's the only thing on my mind. Is that last shining ender pearl that we need. Uh, we're gonna head back up to the surface real fast and see if it's nighttime. Nope, it's daytime. 
it's that easy for us to return to the house now. And that's why I like having a portal gun on hand. Because they're super powerful. But sadly, even the most powerful weapon in the game can't give me what I need. The most powerful tool in the game can't give me what I need. Why is this not bound to end still? That's what I wanted. I want you to be bound to end because I said so. Thank you. Night vision off. Oh, I didn't mean to knock. Oh, God. I'm sorry, turrets. I'm sorry. I'll just place you back down. You guys can keep watch over my house. Okay. Let's go ahead and stow away some of our stuff. 14 uranium. That's that's okay. It's not good. But it's okay. I need to find what I need to find. Yes. That is what needs to be done. All right. Just a single Enderman. Like you'd think, hey, we're underground in like a kind of cavernous area. There'd be enough room for an Enderman to just be hanging out down here. Nah, no, there isn't. What? What's an Enderman? Enderman don't exist. They're they're magical. It's a story about a magical creature called the Enderman. It's not real, children. Don't worry. Endermen don't really exist. It's it's a horror story, like the Boogeyman. He's not real. 